All the Season of Discovery ruins have been found now. Some have even been hot fixed. So I'm just going to do a quick generic guide showing you how to find them, where to find them. And then I'll do more detailed guides as I actually play the game. But wow heads about, there's people that play this game a lot more than me. So all the answers have been cracked. So let's just relay them, hey? So depending on what class you are, head over to Wowhead and find your, let's for ex let's say for example, Druid class ruined discoveries. Find your section and we'll dive down. So I'm a rogue and I went on a, 10, a level 10 mission last night to get Saber Slash. So this is basically Sinister Strike with a bleed. It's good damage. And all you've got to do is make the precarious journey to Shadowfan Keep which is easy enough to do at level 10. The only thing you need is like a movement ability, like sprint. So you do like a running sprint jump off the bridge uh, outside Shadowfan Keep, land on the ledge, open the chest, and you've got Saber Slash. So you don't have to trek all the way to Barrens, you don't have to level your lock picking. I got it at level 10, so it's really cool. Then you can get daggers as well, so do your rogue quest, get a good dagger, and the rogue should feel a lot better after that. Like, for the first 10 levels, the rogue was feeling quite painful to me, and the hunter and warlock was just insanely good. So, hopefully when I do a session today, my rogue's going to feel a lot better. But essentially, you just click onto it, and then have a, have a read through. If it's not obvious, like it is here, click the Ruin Discovery Location Guide, scroll down to Guides, you can find everything you need here. So it'll show you the location depending on where you are on the map. So whether you're Alliance or Horde or Undead or Orc or whatever, there's going to be a way to get it clear, like closer to the others. So for me as an Undead Rogue, I had to go to Shadowfang Keep. Whereas if you're an Orc, you have to run all the way to Barrens. So you literally just click Reveal. It tells you the, the thing. So there's 108 of them. I will slowly get them myself over time, so the longer videos are coming, like the step-by-step -step walkthroughs, aka me just playing the game. But if you really, really, really want a ruin, this is how you get it quick. So I got this at level 10. What else can we say? I'll give you some generic tips and tricks and some daily news that has been released. So nerfs and hotfixes are happening. Uh, I'll go into them in a minute. When I initially started making videos on Season of Discovery like a couple of days ago, like five days ago, um, I thought Nomragan was going to be a dungeon or like a hard dungeon to get, but it's actually inaccessible because they're planning on turning it into a raid in Phase 2. So in Phase 1, we've got BFD, which is the raid. So in Phase 2, we're going to have Nomragan, and then we don't know for Phase 3 and Phase 4. So that should be really cool. You've got, remember your, your current dungeons you've got? People are saying, like, let's say you're a hunter, the scorpion pets can literally solo dungeons, can solo people. The scorpion pets are doing more damage than actual real players with ruins. So hunters have just been absolutely busted. They've got a ridiculous pet. Explosive shot was ridiculous. So some of them have absolutely power leveled. Uh, but it is what it is. And I didn't know this. You can actually enter Scarlet Monastery and Razor Fang Crawl, despite the levels being much higher. So, looking forward to going into Scarlet Monastery and doing some rogue things. RFK, I've always enjoyed. Looking forward to doing RFD and Zulfarak as well in Phase 2. But anyway, let's move on. That's what you can play. My plan is to solo each and every one of these with each class, or as best as I can anyway. And then failing that, I'm going to duo it. So, I think that's a really fun personal challenge. I really enjoyed doing that on my Death Knight, so we'll see what happens. Next, there are secret rune vendors all over the place. So there's one in Ratchet. That's all I need to say, really. You can get Rune of Lone Wolf, Survival, The Warbringer, Pact, Main Gosh, Dual Wield Specialization. This one's key. Shamas, if you want to dual wield, that's how you get it. Cool. Cost you 5G, though, so get earning. Nomrigan, we've already spoke about this. So the hunters literally got nerfed live. Like, let's say you're questing in Barons, you'll shoot explosive shot, it'll do massive damage, literally one-shot things, and then literally the next mob over, your damage has been cut by like a to a third of what it was. And people were literally like, all the hunters just piped up in general, like, 
what the hell, my, my damage has changed, like, literally right now. All the hunters were going crazy. I'm pretty sure mage healing got nerfed because, there we go, mages could just, like, run into a group of mobs, AoE them with arcane explosion, and it would heal them, so it just made everything trivial. It was, It felt like retail, like, mages were playing like retail. They were pulling, like, 20 mobs, and then just arcane explosion heal, arcane explosion heal, arcane explosion heal. Whereas explosive shot was just like, you put it on a target, and it just dies before it can even reach you. Combine that with a scorpion pet, which is doing more damage than players, just ridiculous. So, although I have been complaining about rogues, it seems like they really do start perking up late game. But the, the amount of pain we have to go through in the early game, I mean, it should be worth it. Whereas hunter is like elite from level one, elite all the way up, and then it's elite at the end. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's always the case. I remember Warlock and Hunter back in the day being ridiculous. And I would rather have a default Hunter than my current Rogue. But he's only level 10, do you know what I mean? At level 20, it's really going to start shining, I imagine. But the Rogue has been by far the most painful out of the three I've played. I'll do a Shaman today, we'll see where that goes. Chimera Shot got nerfed as well. But I just really like the aesthetic of Explosive Shot. I only use this for like a level. Moving on. Professions, which ones have you gone for? Skinning was insanely quick. Like, with everybody running around doing stuff and the fast respawns, you get max skinning, like, really, really quickly. Just run around, stealing people's loot. Mining has been really difficult. I've only, like, level 8 mining, but I'm, like, level 100 skinning. But I'm in the under Undercity place, the Undead Zone, so... If I want to do mining, I should be in, like, Juratar and Barons and that, I think. So these supply shipments, what are they? And there's a bit of hotfix as well, so you can actually carry multiple ones now. And I'm pretty sure they, they grant rep. I'm not really... I've, I've picked up a few of these myself, but my bag space was so dire that I just ended up deleting them in the end. But essentially, like, do whatever it says. Like, I got one for, what is it, eight linen robes, things like that. Get 20 rough stone. So, they'll be used for um, the stuff in Black Fathom Deeps. So, if you want to start farming the rep and the, and the goodies for that, you can do. Warlocks, um, they finally discovered the tank ruin, Metamorphosis. They reckon it was hotfixed in because people were doing BFD and it just wasn't working. Now it does work, and then they've hotfixed it again again by, I think it was literally a couple of hours ago. They now let you farm the Warlock items that you need outside of bfd so you don't have to go into the 10-man raid to do it you can just farm the mobs outside bfd so it's much more much easier much more approachable the biggest thing for me about season of discovery was i wanted to try all the new specs so locking the warlock ruin all the way at the end of bfd it's like i've played all this content as like there's been a, a little change like i've got heart and stuff but i wanted to learn my tanking abilities i wanted to just figure out the, the class the new spec do you know what I mean? It's it feels a bit scuffed when you've got to do all the content, then you finally like win the game, and it's like you 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 don't have as much craving to play it when you've already made it all the way to the end. So it'd be nice to get it a bit earlier, which well they've made it so you can get it outside. But we've got phase two, phase three, phase four, so get over it, I guess. It's still fun, still a really cool idea. I like the class fantasy and the the way of discovering things. It's a nice it's a nice way to change it all up. Season of Discover Discovery, I'd say, has been a success so far. It's added a lot of flair to the early game. I just wish there was more. Like, Keep building on it. Keep doing what you're doing. It's good. What else have we got? Well, that's the Metamorphosis stuff. Yeah, so the, the devs have been really good as well. The, they've been responding. They've had good takes. It doesn't feel like we're detached from them like we usually do. Hopefully, WoW and Blizzard and Microsoft will carry on with this route. It won't be as bad as it's been for like the last 10, 20 years. Well, t 10 years, let's be honest. Sharpening stone and mana oil found. So when you get these crates that I was going on about, these war supplies or whatever, it was like, how do you get these? And you have to go black fathom. Void touch gear, you create that in BFD. I'll do a whole guide on that in the future, but essentially you can craft purple gear inside BFD, so it's really cool. Trade Skill Master, so if you are into your gold making, Trade Skill Master is what you should be doing. It's just really good, really good auction house app. 
I'll do a whole guide on tier 7 in the future because that's like, yeah, that's late game stuff. We've got, yeah, I'm not interested in this. There we go, that's about it. So, what else can I say on top of all that? There was something else. Um, so the mobs are actually different in Season of Discovery Classic WoW. If you've noticed yourself dying when you wouldn't normally die, there's a reason. If like the the health now scales like exponentially. Like if you look at the difference between one mob, like a level twenty mob and a level twenty one mob, the the health difference is insane. So don't be fighting mobs that are like a higher level than you because you you're really gonna get bullied. I found out in the undead zone in the crypt that wow, I really can't do anything. I was level ten with like a skinny knife and a crappy dagger. It's like, wow, I've just died to a level 11 zombie. This is a new low. So I kind of tilted a little bit, had a break, came back, got my daggers, um, upgraded my stuff, got the Sabre Slash, did everything I could to like not relive that experience. And who knows? I've got two really good daggers now. We'll see if my rogue is feeling a lot better. But like I say, looking forward to playing the Shaman. Um, I think that's on the agenda today. So look, I've waffled enough now. My morning coffee's done. Love you all. What are you playing? How are you enjoying it? Hasta la vista. Peace.